everyone. As we are all staying at home, I have purchased a couple of books which you have seen. There is more book reviews on my channel and all of them sort of are about color, pigments, um, that sort of thing. So here is a book that is very, very humble, very thin, very affordable. And it's a book that I have been looking for for quite a long time. And for some reason, it only now um, popped up on my Amazon search. So I'm just curious. Oh, it actually was, yes, it was first published, I think 2015. Yes, 2015. And then it has been reprinted last time in 2019. So this book is a good five years old. So it's been around for a, while, for a little while. So this book is called Color Mixing Guide Watercolor, for watercolor. And it's uh, written by Julie Collins. Now, I think, if I'm not mistaken, there's also other mediums, maybe like other paints um, th that you can buy sort of in this series, but uh, this particular one is watercolor and that's what I was really interested in. Now, if you are a complete beginner to watercolor, that would be sort of your Bible that you need to study. If you are already kind of, you know, intermediate, so you are familiar with watercolor but you aren't really um, maybe 100% confident with it then again this would be helpful. I have been working with watercolor a good 20 years yes almost 20 years now and on and off I had a very long break in between and um, so I find myself reasonably confident with it and I still find having something like this quite useful just to, you know, remind yourself what you can create. I mean, obviously, we know what happens if we um, mix certain blues with so certain yellows, um, so you get a green. But what exact yellow, what exact blue makes makes uh, which color combination is something that we, I, I personally can't just uh, remember like that. So it is easy um, to have it on here. Also for inspiration, if I just look at one of the colors and I think, goodness, this is the color that I really wanted to mix myself. Um, how was it done? And then it tells me here that it was French ultramarine and burnt sienna. 50% of each, so half, half, and then you go towards here is more water, towards here is less water, more pigment. Um, so basically that's what you do. And it's very, very useful. Um, certain things, like I said, are great for complete beginners, which is creating depth in a painting. Just reminds you of a few things, but predominantly I just wanted to have these swatches like in a little booklet that I can quickly flip through and find my way around this. And there you go. So that's basically, it's very small. You can see literally. Um, that's it. So 48 pages. Um, mind you, I spotted here a book at the end which says botanical drawing and that looks really nice. So it's just how to draw botanicals. So I might check that out. Anyway, so very, very, very simple, very easy, uh, affordable and just like a little Bible to have. You know, if you have one of those color wheels, this is something also like a color wheel. You should just have it. Uh, in your little studio or arts and crafts uh, desk or corner, whichever area you have dedicated to it, um, I would highly recommend to have this. All right, thanks for watching and see you soon.